don't understand why this is happening. I have two different segments of this video. The part about Born Legacy and the part about a Born ripoff coming out. I'm going to start with Born Legacy because I love the first three Born movies. I, they're upstairs in a box set. <clears throat> Matt Damon was a perfect choice for Jason Bourne and all three movies in their own way are phenomenal. And I heard that after the Born Ultimatum I thought it was over and I was fine that it was over because it was a great ending to the series. However, it made money, so now we have Born Legacy, which is not even a Born movie. It's just using the name Born so it's so it can get more money, and it's starring someone who is not going to top Matt Damon. I don't care how good people think Jeremy Renner is, he is not going to be better than Matt Damon. Like I said before, Matt Damon was perfect as Jason Moore. He had the emotion to it, he could kick people's asses. He's just a great actor, which is why he was a perfect choice. Jeremy Renner, he's an okay, he's a good actor. He's not a great actor. He was great in the town, but the rest of the things I've seen from him, not too great. He does not look good in Mission Impossible 4, I must say. He scalped someone on the... He scalped someone on the... Oh my god. He scalped someone on the set of the Avengers. So, way to go, buddy. How much you want to you gonna shoot someone on the set of Bourne? This movie, they even said, has nothing to do with Jason Bourne, so I have no idea why it's called The Bourne Legacy if Bourne is not in it. This does not make sense to me. Two plus two does not equal four in this situation. It equals bullshit. Speaking, speaking of Bourne ripoffs, abduction with that Twilight kid, Taylor Lautner. I, when I was first watching the trailer, I first heard about it, I thought it could be okay. Even though Taylor Lautner is horrific as an actor, I thought it could be an okay movie based on the premise. Then I saw the trailer, and it looks like Born for Tweens. Really. In the trailer. First of all, it's a conspiracy. Like, they want him for some reason. He's government property. I wonder where that came from. And there was a line in the trailer, I, I'm trying to remember. Listen to me, Nathan. We're going to find you. Not if I find you first. I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. Oh yeah, Jason Bourne said that line. It's kind of funny how they're so unoriginal that they have to take a line from the thing they're ripping off to make it even easier to realize how much of a ripoff this is. I'm not seeing abduction. I don't care if it's better, better, if it gets better reviews than the Bourne trilogy. I will not see it. A, Taylor Lautner. Do I need to say more? B. Unoriginal plot. C. Complete ripoff of Bourne. And D. He's probably going to take his shirt off and then I'm going to hear squeals for the next 10 minutes. I'm not going to see that goddamn movie. You want to know why? Because I have better things to do. I'm pretty... Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure Moneyball comes out that weekend. I'll go see that. That looks better. These Bourne ripoffs. I'm going to fucking kill them. <sighs> what? 